Hey guys, Kaylee here with another Squarespace tutorial. Um, I've had a few requests of people asking how to put in a frequently asked questions drop down accordion on Squarespace. This code's circling around, it's on quite a few blog posts. Um, it actually belongs to somebody called Colin who goes by the username Silverbockis and you can uh, go to his website at silverbockis.com. He's got loads of Squarespace and code resources. Um, this is very much his code. I didn't write it, I want to be really clear about that but I am going to show you how to install it uh, in this video and a blog post and I have a PDF you can download um, that has the code and some step-by-step -step instructions as well um, and he's very kindly given permission um, for us to be able to do that. So it's actually really simple but if you're not familiar with code I can understand that it maybe looks a little bit overwhelming. So I've got the code here uh, in the PDF um, on one side of my computer and I've got a page that I've made up here in Squarespace just on the other side with some spacer blocks and with a text block and it's super super simple all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this first section of the code this is the uh, the JavaScript and jQuery code which you don't need to know how that works don't worry about it. it's absolutely fine so I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to come over here into my Squarespace site and I'm going to insert a block and just paste that straight in and click apply. Now here I'm going to put in a markdown block. I don't know why this isn't working, here we go, oh, there we are. And I'm going to copy over now this part of the code that's in step two. Now this is my questions and my answers. So it's really straightforward. Your questions here are in blue and the answer is going to go underneath. So I'm just going to put in an example question. Um, might be for example, um, what are your opening hours? And the answer, uh, we are open Monday to Friday. 9 a.m. Uh, to 5 p.m. Okay. And you could add in as many of these as you want. You could copy and paste it three or four times if you've got a lot of questions. Um, and just don't get rid of these three uh, pound or hashtag symbols here. I'm going to show you what they are a little bit later on. Click apply. It'll possibly look like it's not worked. In your editing and preview mode of Squarespace, um, it doesn't always come up. Even if you click save on the page, it doesn't always come up. The best thing to do is always to go on your page as a visitor um, to check it. I'm just going to click save here. And uh, no, it hasn't. Let's refresh, see if it works. This sometimes does the trick, even when you're not logged out. Here we go. So it has worked now. And you can see if I click on the question, what are your opening hours? We are open Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5. Question 2. And the same with question 3. That's really it. If that's where you want to leave it, that's fine. It's now working. If you wanted to change the style of this text a little bit, that's fine. This is where our hashtags come in. So the fact that there are three of these hashtag symbols, or pound symbols if you're in the US, uh, these make sure that the text comes up in your third heading style. I'm going to show you, just go down to question three. So my third heading style is this Leto font, capital, um, in black. If I go down to two, it comes up in my second heading style, which you can see is the same here as where I've written frequently asked questions. If I go down to one, that's my first heading style, which if you've been on my website, you'll see is the heading of most of my pages. And let me just put those back in. The same thing will happen with the answers, although you probably want to keep this in just the standard body font. But if you didn't, if you wanted to change it, you can make that into heading one, heading two, or heading three. I've got some CSS on my page that is making my heading three 
when it's in a markdown block, uh, have this underline underneath. But yours will look however your heading three looks in your style editor. You can add some extra CSS to customize this when it's in a markdown block so that your uh, FAQ accordion looks different to uh, the heading three elsewhere on your site. If you want to do that, contact me. I might do another video about that or another post about that, how to customize this uh, FAQ accordion a little bit more. But just as standard, it will come up in your uh, in your regular body copy font. One thing, if you have added uh, extra textiles using CSS, such as a H4, a H5, or a H6, you can use them as well. If you don't know how to do that, I'm going to write a blog post on it. I might do a video on it. Again, if you want one, email me. Um, and then if I know what you guys want, I know what to make. If I keep going, this is what I have set as H4 on my website currently. This is what I have as H5. That's my heading uh, font, just a bit smaller that I use in a couple of places. And I don't have a H6. Um, it's defaulted down to a very small font there, but I'm going to stick it. Uh, on number three, the standard that it comes with uh, in the copy that I've given you. So click apply, click save, and there you are. If we refresh, there you go working perfectly. Hope that works for everyone. If you're having any problems, leave a comment below or send me an email. If you've got requests of any of the videos that you'd like, you can leave a comment below or send me an email as well. And if you click subscribe, then you'll get the rest of my videos come. I'm trying to get one done once every two weeks. I know it's been a while. Um, a lot of stuff has been going on. Uh, but yeah, every fortnight video is here over at my blog, kayleenoel.com slash blog. Uh, I have more video tutorials. I have written uh, tutorials of how to do different things on Squarespace. Um, I've also got Just Reflections on Life as a location independent girl boss, as a Squarespace web designer, web developer. Um, come along, join the fun, and you can check me out on social media as well. Have a great day, guys.